Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up right here your Apple TV. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you've got, whether it's the one that's got a little bit more gigs or less gigs, it's going to be the exact same tutorial for both of them. So first of all, I do want to mention that although your controller you will use a lot, you can also use your phone or your tablet to control your Apple TV. So you might not even end up using this as much. So if you ever lose it, it's not the biggest deal in the world but try to keep it safe. And those sleeves out there that you can purchase for these, make sure to buy one that's an okay brand because I've seen some silicon brands out there that are not that well made and they would actually stain your controller or start just leaving this slime over them because just the way that they're made, they're that cheap that they actually start, I don't want to say melt because they're not melting, but there is this type of like slime that comes out of them after a while. So just watch out with those sleeves because a lot of you are going to purchase sleeves for these controllers, which is a good idea. Now we're going to start off of how to charge up right here your controller. So you must have got this cable inside your box, which is very similar cable. Actually, you can use the same cable from your phone or your tablet to charge up the controller. It works perfectly fine. So you would just plug this right here. Now, you could just plug this end to your computer, or if you have a brick, go ahead and do that. So just plug in that part into a brick or your computer in order to charge your controller right here. So you don't actually need to do that before we set this up because it already comes with some charge. But I just want to show you that just in case once it runs out of battery, you don't need to charge it up for a while. Now, when it comes down to your Apple TV, you're going to see all your ports here, Ethernet, HDMI, and this is your power. So we're going to start off with that. you got this cable right here and your cable will go right there. So we're just going to plug that in. So just make sure it's nice and secure. You're going to be fine. Your HDMI cable will go there and then that will go to your TV. So obviously you need a 4K TV. There's really no point of purchasing an Apple TV that's 4K if your TV is not 4K. Now the Ethernet port right here, you don't have to worry about that if you don't have an Ethernet cable because this works fine throughout Wi-Fi. And that's how we're gonna set it up. With ethernet cables, you would just plug it in. It's gonna be actually a lot faster to set it up. But right now, we're just gonna show you through Wi-Fi because that's the case for most of you. Now, obviously this end, we're just gonna plug it into your wall outlet. And this is what your Apple TV doesn't come with. HDMI cable. This is how they look like. This is a 4K HDR cable. And that's what you need for this type of Apple TV. Now it doesn't have to look like this. This is just an option. So you just need to plug this in on the back of your Apple TV. Just like we did with the power. It's going to go right there. Just make sure it's nice and snug. It's supposed to look something like so. And right now you're ready to plug this into your TV. So right now this end will go directly to your TV. So watch out which source you've got. Make sure you select the right source or else you just won't find it. So it could be source one, source two depending. So again, we're just going to plug this into our TV itself. Now, before we get started, I want to mention that the syncing between this and your Apple TV will be a little bit too easy. And if you already got an Apple product, such as an iPhone or iPad, it's going to make everything go a lot faster because it's just going to share that information with your Apple TV. You're going to be able to set up everything way faster because it's going to share your password for your Wi-Fi. But anyways, let's just go on with the next step to your TV. Thank you. 
Cause I'm better off without you 